scrimmages, passing nights, um, practices, camps, all of everything culminated into this Friday. Right. Um, what's the sense from the team right now? Are they chomping at the bit to get at it on, on Friday? Yeah, you know, yesterday, I think Monday we kind of were a little, we started off a little a little slow. Uh, we had no, there was no practice, you know, no school on Monday, so it kind of threw everybody for a little loop. You know, we're practicing at 10 in the morning as opposed to they're, they're here all day and we're practicing in the afternoon. But yesterday was a really good practice. Uh, I could tell right away, and I told the kids afterwards, I could tell right away that they thought that, um, you know, they could feel that they've got a game coming up on, in, in about three days, not just a scrimmage, not going against ourselves and that type of thing. So, yeah, it's, they're starting to feel it. They're starting to be in the air now. I mean, the buzz is starting to happen. You know, they're starting to plan rallies and stuff like that for Friday and different things. So um, it's definitely fall atmosphere. You know, like that's, that, that time has finally come for us. Long off season, you know, it was 365 days since the last time we did this thing. So um, it, it's – it's you know a process, but it's finally here. What about in the community? Have you heard? Uh, have anyone approached you? You know, talking about you know the excitement, the buzz in the, in the community, uh, talking about opening night on Friday. Yeah, it's just uh, you know the biggest thing is everybody wants to know, you know who we're playing. You know, it's it's playing a team that nobody's real familiar with, and kind of you know who you, who you playing this Friday night, and and uh, kind of still where you know where are you guys have a game where at, and everybody's interested. Uh, just kind of get the word out there that you know the games. We're opening up at home, and we want to get that big crowd there. We always have a, a, a good crowd, um, but yeah, the, there's buzz. There's definitely buzz about um, you know the start of the 2009 campaign. So um, from all levels, from kids to school, teachers, and you know from people in the community. Since last week's uh, scrimmage over at uh, Sirius High, uh, what are some things that you and the team have been working on in preparation for the game against McClatchy? Uh Biggest thing was it would be like on offense would be narrowing it down to you know a select amount of plays that we want to go into the game with. We don't want to go in with everything. We want to make sure that, um, you know, we are sound at all levels in, in a focused game plan. Uh, defensively, you know, kicking up the intensity, um, you know, getting it, keeping it going. We, we, I thought we did pr fairly well on defense at the scrimmage. So um, we want to keep that momentum going. And we had a really good defensive practice yesterday. Had some really good rhythm. Uh, and we want to keep that going and carry it over and just play sound Football. I mean, you know, tackle on defense and, and make your blocks on offense, and that's what's going to happen. So um, I, I like where we're at right now. I like that, you know, we're progressing nicely. Um, but this time of year, we should not have everything in. You know, there's still parts of our defense that are not in. There's still parts of our offense that aren't in. And so um, it, it's, a, it's a good preseason game for us. But we also know that, you know, we've got other games down the road that we need to make sure that we progress towards but it never lose sight of what we got going on this Friday. Okay. Uh, McClatchy, one of a, a handful of non-league games, uh, you know, in preparation for league season. Uh, how do you go about scheduling uh, these non-league games, and you know, what what are you looking for in teams that you know that you want to face? Well, every game counts. Every game counts now. The way the playoffs go, so um, you know, you're going to get. We we should be making playoffs this year. I don't I don't see us faltering anywhere down the line and not making playoffs. The problem is now, like I said before, is depending on where you go in the playoffs. And we know we're going to go Division Three, but where you go up or down in that scale of 1 to 16 getting seeded is going to depend on how many wins you have. So, I mean, this game against McClatchy, you know, it, it means everything because it, it could mean the difference between hosting a game and not hosting a game when it comes down to it between you and another team. So um, they're all extremely important, but, you know, scheduling teams in the non-league you really want to try and find a good fit where you're going to get a good game. You want to get to make sure you have a good gate. You want to make sure you have a good, you know, rivalry going. At the same time, you want to put yourself in a position where you think you can come out of it with, you know, uh, some kind of a, a good learning experience, but with a, a win as well. So it's going to help you. Um, the way we fell into McClatchy was a little bit different, though, because going into, I think it was August 1st of last year, we didn't have a game for week one. We, uh, we had a game scheduled in the off season. It fell through. Um, we couldn't find another game, couldn't find another game, and finally, you know, we, we had all intentions of going into 2008 with nine games. And August 1st came around, and McClatchy needed a game, we needed a game. They agreed, and so we did a two-year contract, and here we are. So they can't, they can't host games at their place, so they're having to come to us both years, which is fine for us. Um, but um, at least we have, now we have ten games a season. So I don't anticipate – renewing our contract with them uh, in the future. But, I mean, we may or may not. 
because our schedule is going to change a little bit come November, I think, gets finalized for the following year. Uh, our league schedule will get set up, and we'll need to find new league games, or our, our non-league schedule may change from here to there. So, you know, we'll, we'll try to figure it out. But right, as of right now, you know, it just – they landed in our lap last year. Uh, I took a peek at their lineup. Uh, I believe it's all juniors and seniors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, other than that, you know, are there, are there anything that you know about this team coming into coming into this game? Well, to be honest, we really don't know a whole lot other than what we played with them last year because they didn't scrimmage anybody this year. So last year they scrimmaged up at Rio Linda. I was able to go up there and, and scout them and get an idea of what they want to do on offense, what they want to do on defense. Um, and, and kind of see some of their personnel. This year they didn't have a scrimmage, and that kind of put us in a little bit of a bind because now we're going solely off of last year's information, and for all we know they could have changed it completely, and we'll have to adjust on the fly very quickly you know, on Friday. But we know who's coming back. We know who's you know, returning from last year's team, that type of thing, because we had this year's roster as comparing it to last year's, uh, comparing it to you know, what they did in our game. We, you know, we watched last year's film quite a bit. So we've seen – who's coming back and, and, and who's, uh, you know, returning, who's coming up from the JV. And they're talented, and there's no doubt. I mean, they have 47 guys on their roster. This is not going to be a, a cakewalk and by any means. Um, you know, last year's score, I think, is can be set aside in everything that we do for this year because they're a rebuilding program, and they probably committed, you know, they have to have committed an entire offseason to getting better, and I'm sure they've done that. So um, we know they've got some speed guys coming back. We know they've got some size coming back in certain spots. Um, Scheme-wise, we're, we're going right off of what they were doing to us last year a little bit and uh, anticipating some changes. We've seen some changes in our offense. You know, our defense has seen some offenses um, different than what we've seen, what we're going to see on Friday. So it, we'll be able to adjust. It's just going to be – it may be real fast. It may be a real fast adjustment because of what they give us in the first, you know, first opening drive. Um, you mentioned, uh, you know, the new playoff structure kind of, you know, uh, Making every game a little bit more meaningful. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have, a, you have a young team this year. Talk about the importance, uh, briefly, about getting off to the right on, on the right foot and getting this team. Uh, the importance of building confidence for this team early on in the season. Yeah, getting off on the right foot is huge for uh, a young team because you want to see them progress. You want to see them build that confidence and and have it build every time. And if their expectations are high, it's just every kid out here is anticipating that we go out there with a win on Friday. That's what we tried to establish years ago was the expectation and the, the, the self-confidence and the belief that you're going to go out there on Friday and you're going to win. So um, we're to that point now. I don't think there's a kid in our program right now that doesn't think we're going to go out there and win on Friday. Um, making it happen, obviously, they, they can't just believe in it themselves. You know, they have to actually go out there and put forth the effort and, and execute, and then we'll come out, come out with the W. So... Um, but I, I, I fully believe that everybody believes that, we, you know, that, that they're in that situation where we're going to win on Friday night, uh, at least play well. And so to have that expectation and then not live up to it or falter in some way or not come off or maybe come off with a close win or, or a, a, a close game and a loss or whatever it may be, that can crush a younger team. So we want to make sure we get that confidence going, you know, good positive vibe going the whole time. Um, making sure the guys are, are staying up, to, you know, staying up in the game and being intense and that type of thing, and that's going to carry us through. When it gets to the point where uh, there's going to be adversity, we got to be able to fight through that, and uh, a good, confident team will be able to do that. But as long as we see some sort of progress throughout, you know, with each game, you know, we're going to build towards league. We're going to build towards playoffs. So.